Being in an airport can be a stressful chore. You're either moving from one place to another or waiting, finding ways to occupy your time. I think since 9-11, just the idea of travel has changed so much. I can't walk you as my friend to the gate, but I think the art kind of mitigates that experience. It creates a calming distraction. Constance White manages the airport's public art collection. Whenever there is new construction at the airport, 2% of the budget goes to art. Ten new gates and a food court are set to officially open to the public in just a few weeks. And there will be art in all of them. Like this piece, called The Journey. So this light ribbon um, was commissioned from an artist named Jim Campbell, who is based out of San Francisco. It's comprised of approximately 38,000 LED light pendants. Shadows of birds move through the lights. The airport floors become a reflective surface. Right now, the journey is 700 feet long, but representatives from the artist's studio are here installing the rest of the light ribbon, which will finish at 1,000 feet. The LED lights will cascade down this wall. Over in the new food court, construction is just winding up. That's where Canadian artist Stuart Keeler has suspended his piece called Taxonomy of a Cloud. So Stuart just would sit, he would come to San Diego and sit and look at the sky, look at the clouds. And there's a particular type of cloud formation that happens in Mediterranean environments and it's called a lattice cloud. At the center of the piece are strands of Swarovski crystals. The 35,000 crystals will capture and reflect light. So the artist was thinking light and air, and it's so special in San Diego, and people are mesmerized just by the environment and the atmosphere here. How can he make that a physical experience for people, right? San Diego artist Joan Irving's painted glasswork has been in the airport collection for years. For the expansion, it was moved to a prominent spot at the end of Terminal 2. And it really does bring your eye through the large, expansive space and really um, calls your attention to just the sunshine that comes through and uh, floods the area with all the light and all of the color that she's created in the work. There are a total of 10 new pieces of art placed in the expanded areas. The budget totals $6 million, which is funded through airport user fees. There's even art in the unlikeliest of places, like bathroom entrances. Rhode Island artist Eric Carlson has created a series of video mosaics that respond to movement. I wanted to create a, uh, an artwork that had a, had a sense of reveal to it and I chose to work with the, uh, it's called smart glass. It's glass that changes from opaque to clear, so as someone approaches the piece, the image opens up. So when you first see it, it's obscured. Carlson chose iconic San Diego scenes to film. Well, sur uh, surfing obviously drew my attention, and I'm not a surfer at all, and I had never filmed surfers before, so I wasn't sure how I was going to approach it. Um, so I went to some of the beaches that were recommended to me, and just started off watching what was going on uh, and then I went out on one of the piers where I was parallel to where the surfers were waiting to catch the waves and I immediately noticed this really interesting back and forth where the waves were coming in um, the surfers were paddling out and then every once in a while one would come in but it was a, it was a very interesting uh, sort of rhythm that was developed. I think in some way the artwork represents what it's like in a compressed way for a visitor or maybe a new, new someone who recently moved here, um, where the, the process of, the, of discovering these details about San Diego. In between the restrooms with Carlson's pieces is a different kind of bathroom. The fire hydrant has made this a popular photo op for passengers. It's just one more visual surprise among all the artwork that passengers will discover in the newly expanded airport. Angela Carone, KPBS News.